right, good morning and welcome to the Dodge County Flea Market. Just started here at 8 a.m., goes till 2 p.m. today. Of course, it's always free admission and free parking, lots of vendors. If you continue watching our live feed, you will see uh, we will be changing cameras and uh, you'll be able to see there are different, uh, different views, vendors throughout the fairgrounds. volume adjusted here so please uh, stay tuned Again, please stay tuned. We are just programming the other cameras and uh, we'll be able to show you a lot more of the vendors here shortly. So just stick with us for a few more minutes, please.
Again, good morning. Welcome to the Dodge County Flea Market and Craft Fair. Today, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Collectibles, antiques, vintage decor, and so much more. We will be switching cameras here in just a minute. We are just about finished programming those. We can show you the rest of the park here shortly. Please stay tuned. Again, thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we're hosting the Dodge County Flea Market and Craft Fair from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, we hope to broadcast till about noon today. We'll do our best to get up close footage of the many uh, vendors and exhibitors today. Best of all, it's free admission and free parking all day today, so come on out to, uh, to see the flea market.
All right, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaverdam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the first, actually the second, first Lee Marketing Craft Fair of the season. Check our website for future dates throughout the summer. We'll do our best to get up close footage of the many vendors today, but you'll have to shop in person to take advantage of the deals and find treasures for your home and yard. If you live in or near Dodge County, Wisconsin, you can get directions from our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com or press get directions on your smartphone from our Facebook fan page. If you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon if you're watching on YouTube. Other platforms use the follow and enable notifications process so you get notified when we're broadcasting live and see what's going on at the fairgrounds. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Dale Nornberg. I'm the website and social media administrator at the fairgrounds. If you have any questions at any time during our live broadcast, post them in the chat, or if you're watching on the replay, please feel free to post your questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. And on a side note, we're looking for moderators to help us answer those comments. So if you would like to help out, we would appreciate that. Please uh, contact us by phone or email. Also, please check the links in the description below if you haven't already. Follow us on social media. We'd appreciate your sponsorship so we can continue offering live event video and replays of our events to attract new fans and events. Just going to switch over to the arena camera right now. We have indoor space, indoor space available for the vendors. So uh, the weather is a little questionable today. I think they have like a 20% chance of rain today. So some of the vendors chose to set up inside. You can see uh, it's a real nice place for vendors, even if they just want to be out of the wind or out of the sun. So uh, there's indoor and outdoor spaces at the flea market today. And you can see uh, some of the vendors have collectibles. Um, some of them have handmade, uh, homemade type of arts. There is uh, direct sales. And uh, that gives you an opportunity to see products that uh, maybe you wouldn't see unless you went to each individually so you can see them all at once here at the flea market today. Okay, we're uh, starting to get some more viewers. Thank you for sharing and, and liking our video. It uh, helps spread the word and get the word of mouth out there. So uh, we appreciate that support. Please stay tuned to see all the vendors. We have uh, four different camera angles today to show you. So if you could keep watching uh, the next over the next 10 minutes, we will keep switching cameras so you can see most of the market but uh, there's vendors throughout the ground so you won't be able to see them all uh, we can't some of them are are hidden I guess uh, behind cars so in order to see all of the vendors you need to attend in person 
shop and find those unique collector items that you can't uh, can't find anywhere else. Just a little background info for you. You're watching live footage from the Dodge County Fairgrounds, an event venue located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, on State Highway 33. There's a variety of events that rent the grounds throughout the summer. If you're looking for something to do, we have events most every weekend. Head over to our website to see a list of upcoming events at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Did you know you can rent the fairgrounds for your next event, large or small? We have indoor and outdoor options. Contact us today to reserve some dates and work out the details. If you enjoy the bird's eye view of events in action, subscribe to our channel uh, and activate notifications by pressing the bell icon just to the right of the subscribe button. That's, uh, that's how you do it on YouTube. Other platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, those uh, have enable notifications or follow different ways to, to be notified when we go live. Uh, all events, all of our major events this summer, we hope to share some of this live footage with you. It's a uh, free event. We will give quite a bit of coverage, but events that are, are paid admission, we will uh, be able to broadcast just the beginning or the, the pre-race or the before coverage, because uh, we do need your support through ticket sales to uh, ticket sales and concessions in order to support the nonprofit fair association. So again, you're watching live footage from the Dodge County Flea Market and Craft Fair today till 2 p.m. We uh, plan to broadcast till just about 11:45 this morning go ahead and switch cameras here for you so you can uh, get another vantage point let's uh, look down from the grandstand You can see, uh, like this this vendor here, he's got lots of vintage um, items. They're good for repurposing or uh, using for lawn art. And we'll switch out to the midway area camera. And uh, in that area, they have again a variety of a variety of different vendors. We head on out to the fairgrounds today. Again, we are located between Beaver Dam and Horicon on Highway 33.
We hope you're enjoying today's live video of the Lee Market and Craft Fair. There's a variety of different events throughout the grounds, uh, so you won't be able to see everything, but our live stream hopefully gives you a taste of what uh, what's available. There are several vendors today. I would, I would estimate there's at least 50 vendors on site today, so it gives you a lot of things to look at. So we hope uh, you keep watching and be sure to share with your friends and family, especially anyone who is homebound or handicapped that uh, is unable to join us in person. Maybe they would enjoy just, just looking and uh, watching the live stream to see what's going on. And share on social media, round up your friends for a day of shopping at the fairgrounds. Again, that's till two o'clock today. Some of the vendors pack up about 1.30 if they have sold out of most of their items. So earlier the better to get the best selection. We really appreciate your support. Continue watching and subscribe to our channel. There's a link in the description or use the red subscribe button on YouTube. And of course, uh, like our fan page follow with notifications so that you don't miss the next event, live footage, or upcoming information. switch over to the camera that's in the park area. There's uh, two vendors there that uh, do woodworking. One guy makes uh, like wishing wells. The other guy uh, makes planters and benches. So a lot of people enjoy, enjoy those in their yard. And just a reminder that the flea market is rain or shine, so we do have uh, four more events scheduled this summer. And again, you can get that list from our website. If the weather, you know, if the weather forecast or if it's raining, you can still head out. We have lots of indoor space. The vendors just set up inside instead of outside, and uh, just a rundown of a future flea market dates: July 15, August 26, and September 16 are the other upcoming dates. So only one a month this year. So definitely mark those on your calendar so you don't miss one. If you have any suggestions for us, um, for our live feed or for our events, we, we would love to hear and, and see those suggestions in our comments. You can give us uh, a rating. Facebook and Google has, you know, like a five-star rating system where you can uh, rate us there. So you can give us 
For example, you can give us a star rating and say, you know, love the live feed, love the events, great place to, to take the family. So um, feel free to, to do that. Several others have. We, we're at about a 4.5 star rating on Facebook and Google. So we appreciate everyone that has already given us those ratings. Thank you very much. There's quite a few shoppers uh, browsing the items. I'm sure, they're they're finding lots of treasures and looking at things from their past. And Maybe, uh, you know, in the comments, uh, leave us a note that uh, something that you found at a flea market that has become your treasure. You hear stories of people finding things at flea markets. They then get them evaluated and assessed and they're worth a lot more than what they paid or or buy buy some things resell them on Craigslist or eBay and make some money so great opportunity today at the flea market All right, just keep switching cameras here. So it just takes a minute to uh, change from one to another. So uh, hope you're getting a taste of what's available today at the flea market. Again, open today till, till two o'clock. Free admission, free parking. Come on out and support those vendors.
All right, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the second flea marketing craft fair of the season. Check our website for future dates throughout the summer. We'll do our best to get up close footage of the, the many vendors, but you'll have to shop in person to take advantage of the deals and find treasures for your home and yard. If you live in or near Dodge County, Wisconsin, you can get directions from our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com or press get directions on your smartphone from our Facebook fan page. Just switching cameras here to the in indoor arena. So uh, during the county fair, this is where they, they show livestock, but it's also a great indoor spot for the flea market. It gets the vendors out of the wind and sun. And also if it is rainy, they uh, all set up inside, but uh, that's not the case today. There's like a 20% chance of rain, but they, you know, they've chosen to set up inside. See, there's uh, there's homemade, there's homemade items for sale, crafts, direct sales. Just unique and hard to find items that make for great decor. Uh, a lot. They would mean a lot more items, mean a lot more to to you than just buying off the shelf items. You can see that uh, quite a few people are are now shopping. So head on out to the fairgrounds. If you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting, uh, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon on YouTube. So, then on Facebook, uh, there's a follow and enable notifications. And same thing on Twitter. So we. When we go live, uh, when we're live streaming, we broadcast to five, five different platforms simultaneously. So uh, you can pick your platform of choice. And we appreciate all of your likes and hearts and whatever uh, whatever platform you're watching on. Uh, give us that support through through shares and likes. We we really appreciate that. And if you have any questions uh, or feedback for us, please feel free to leave us something in the comments or the chat that uh, that gives us that feedback so that we we know how we can improve or if we should just keep doing what we're doing so uh all right please check the links in the description below if you haven't already uh, we have some links down below 
and follow us on social media. We'd appreciate your sponsorship so we can continue offering live event video and replays of our events to attract new fans and events. If you're not already aware, the fairgrounds is operated by the Dodge County Fair Association, a nonprofit group that maintains and continues the operation of the fairgrounds. So it's a great event venue for several events and uh, gives everyone a place to hold their events. So let's uh, let's continue maintaining and keeping it good for everyone to enjoy. All right, we're getting quite a few viewers now on the different platforms. Uh, please stay tuned to see all the vendors. It's uh, really starting to get to be a busy day at the flea market. You're watching live event video from the flea market and craft fair today till two o'clock at the Dodge County Fairgrounds near Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. We hope you can attend in person to shop and find unique collector items. If you can't make it, keep watching. Give the vendors your support with a thumbs up. Please help us out with a share on social media to anyone you know who loves vintage decor, repurposing, and collectibles. Okay, let's take a break and uh, check the comments for questions. We're broadcasting live simultaneously on five platforms, so it's going to take a minute to check each. On Facebook, we just had uh, one comment from Margaret Schmidt. She's uh, saying hopefully she can make it out before it closes. We're going to close at 2 o'clock, so... Want to get there as early as you can to get the best selection. No, no comments yet in the chat on YouTube. So that's another option if you have the YouTube app on your phone. I'm going to switch over to the, the camera on the grandstand. Uh, look down here. This vendor's got lots of uh, what you'd maybe call, classify as vintage or uh, farm art. And those would be great for repurposing or you know, making into, I guess, repurposing. You'd make them into something. 
so... Okay, let's switch, uh, switch over to the midway camera. Lots of vendors in this area as well. There's a local gentleman that makes uh, lawn and, and uh, wall hangings out of steel. They're uh, cut out of steel. They're, they're pretty neat, so uh, that's something to check out when you get there. All right, um, again, I hope you're enjoying uh, a little taste of the flea market and a nice reminder to, uh, to head out to the fairgrounds, do some shopping. I know there's a lot of other events going on downtown Beaver Dam today, but check this out and it should only take you about an hour to see all the vendors and, and do your shopping. If you enjoy the bird's eye view of events in action, subscribe to our channel, activate notifications by pressing the bell icon just to the right of the subscribe button on YouTube. And if you're watching on other platforms like Facebook uh, or Twitter or Periscope, you can activate notifications in different ways through each or, or get notified when we go live. So. Look for those settings in your social profiles. We plan on using this live event video throughout the summer, our live streaming as they call it, to give you a taste of the many events at the fairgrounds and ideas of new things to get out and do with the family. Although we still need your support with ticket and concession sales and support of the nonprofit fair association that operates the grounds and the event promoters coordinate those events so we still we still are looking for your help uh, there's ways you can donate or give the fairgrounds your sponsorship so look for those options uh, one of those is in the comments below you can help us with a sponsorship of our live stream and uh, in fact uh, we haven't seen one yet this morning but Whenever we get a, a sponsorship or a new subscriber on our YouTube channel, we will see a notification right here on the live stream. So uh, if you can support us with a subscription at YouTube or a sponsorship, we we'd really appreciate that. So check that out. Also, did you know that we're, we're actually looking for video collaborators, uh, they call them collabs, on our YouTube channel to, to help us capture footage um, of you attending our events with a review or a tour, a little show and tell story of your own. In exchange, we will share those videos with our fans and it brings a whole new audience to your channel because we'll share your video and uh, potential vetting, you know, subscribers and fans for both of us. So contact us by instant message or email if you're interested in that.
Okay, we're just checking out the different uh, chat and messages to make sure that there's no unanswered questions out there. I bet uh, many people are now headed headed out to the fairgrounds to to see what's going on. a little background info for you. You're watching live footage from the Dodge County Fairgrounds, an event venue located just a few miles east of Beaverdam, Wisconsin on State Highway 33. There's a variety of events that rent the grounds throughout the summer. If you're looking for something to do, we have events most every weekend. Head over to our website to see a list of upcoming events at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Did you know that you can rent the fairgrounds for your next event? Large or small, we have indoor and outdoor options. You can contact us today to reserve some dates and work out the details. So even if you're busy today and you're unable to make the flea market uh, before the 2 o'clock closing time, you can subscribe to email reminders, uh, reminders by email, to your inbox of upcoming events. There's a link in the description below and at the bottom of our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. You can subscribe to email reminders. It comes out every Thursday. A nice reminder of the upcoming events. And uh, a nice little email with all the events. So you can mark your calendar and, and not miss a single one. Again, just a reminder, we really like to see your comments chat messages so what would you like to see in future live events is, uh, is this pretty neat to see what's going on a uh, nice little reminder for you leave us uh, a note in the chat or in the comments we just got a, a few likes on a few likes or a thumbs up on Facebook, so thank you for that. If you're, if you're just joining here or watching on the replay, today is the flea market and craft fair till 2 p.m. A variety of vendors are selling today, plus uh, there's concessions, so if you're planning on shopping before and during the lunch hour, you can get a bite to eat while you're at the flea market. Shoppers are welcome with free admission and free parking throughout. So if, if you just want to look around, there is no charge at all. Just uh, head on out to the fairgrounds. Uh, both of our entrances are open. You can enter from Favish Road or High Point Road. Uh, just off of State Highway 33, again, we're located between Beaver Dam and Horicon.
Hey, we're getting quite a few viewers on Facebook. I'm uh, just going to switch over to the park camera. And uh, this area has lots of outdoor vendors. There's lots of handmade items. Uh, this gentleman makes uh, benches and planters and uh, tables, all handmade. Wishing wells for your backyard or front yard, I guess, whichever, some yard art and decorations. Good for planters, again. The Tupperware lady is here today. So uh, if you need some more Tupperware items, you can see them in person. Instead of shopping through a catalog, she'll show you those items. The next vendor looks like they just have a variety of different things. Um, hard to tell here from the live feed, but uh, maybe some collectibles. Check those out. All right, looks like an antique table of some kind there so uh, boy maybe somebody would be interested in that this vendor looks like they have uh, information not sure uh, who they're representing but uh, check those people out not uh, it's kind of hard to tell what they are selling or what this vendor has, but you can see that there's quite a few people checking that out. And then uh, looks like two tents and this trailer from the Dusty Roads Quality Western Wear. Uh, their booth is actually set up on the other side of that trailer, so we can't see it from this this view, but. Lots of stuff there, Western wear. This uh, this guy, he's been at the market before. He makes uh, bird houses and nice little wooden items, home home and handmade. Again, the live feed is scheduled till just before 12 noon uh, Central Standard Time today, about 11.45, 11.50 is when we'll end the live stream, but the flea market goes until 2 o'clock today.
Okay, we'll switch over to the midway camera. This area has got quite a few good vendors. Again, we can't see them all because of the way the cars are parked. It blocks our view uh, from the camera angle. So again, the way to see all the vendors and not miss a thing is to shop in person today till two o'clock at the Dodge County Flea Market and Craft Fair. It's free admission, free parking, great event for local vendors. If uh, you're looking to sell some of your own handmade items or if you have a, a good collection of, of items that you're looking to sell, anyone can get a spot just by contacting Mary Edwards. Uh, information is on our website. Contact Mary to get a spot. Spots are very affordable, just $15 outside or $20 indoors. So when you sell two or three items and you have your spot paid for, so very affordable spaces. And uh, we usually have between 50 and 100 vendors at each flea market. So keep that in mind.
right, hi there, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaverdam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the Dodge County Flea Marketing Craft Fair. Check our website for future dates throughout the summer.
All right, good morning and thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, between Beaver Dam and Horicon. And today we have video from the second flea market and craft fair of the season. We have three more, it's one flea market per month. You can check our website for future dates throughout the summer. We'll do our best to get up close footage of the many vendors today, but you'll have to shop in person to take advantage of the deals and find treasures for your home and yard. If you live in or near Dodge County, Wisconsin, you can get directions from our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com or press get directions on your smartphone from our Facebook fan page. And when we're switching cameras here, you can see that we have many different views available today. And vendors are set up indoors here in the Farm Progress Arena. Vendors like to set up inside here because they're out of the sun and wind and in, in the unlikely chance that there would be any rain they are they can still sell they're protected so know that the flea market is rain or shine if it is raining still come on out to the flea market on the schedule days and times because you can see that we have lots of indoor space available for vendors again the flea market is today until 2 p.m. Some of the vendors may sell out of supplies and close about 1.30, but uh, other vendors will, will be there till 2 o'clock. If you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon on YouTube. Other platforms use follow and enable notifications there's uh, different ways to do that. We live stream on many different platforms at once. So like on Facebook, they use, they use different process. They uh, enable live notifications and we live stream on Periscope as well. You can get notified when we go live on Periscope. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Dale Nornberg. I'm the website and social, mini, social media administrator at the fairgrounds. If you have questions at any time during our live broadcast, post them in the chat. Or if you're watching on the replay, please feel free to post your questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. And on a side note, we're looking for help to moderate the comments. If you or someone you know would like to volunteer as a moderator, contact us by email or chat or other uh, instant message uh, from one of our social platforms. Now we just switched to the park camera and you can see that there is a very large vendor up by the youth building selling quality Western wear. It's called the Dusty Rose. We can't see their display because it's on the other side of that large trailer um, but I'm sure it is some some nice some nice apparel that uh, they're hard that kind of stuff is hard to find uh, in stores around here so great place to do some shopping you can also see in the park that there is some handmade woodworking items benches and tables and planters check those out when when you come on out to the fairgrounds wishing wells those make good planters and yard art and decorate up your your outside as well you can see the tupperware vendor is is uh, here at the fairgrounds today as well instead of shopping in a catalog she can show you those items right away then here um, is a vendor that has a lot of collectible items 
so uh, check out that vendor. So again, thank you for watching. Please check, uh, we have links posted in the description below or in the comments. If you haven't already, follow us on social media. We would really appreciate your sponsorship. We have a link there to sponsor our live event videos. Uh, by doing so, we should uh, see a notification right on the screen here during the live broadcast. So that's helpful, that keeps us going so uh, again we're a non-profit uh, association that operates the fairgrounds so we appreciate that support that uh, allows us to continue offering live event video in replays of our events to attract new fans and other other events to uh, give the community some things to do so Usually the busiest time at the flea market is between 10 and noon. So we should start seeing quite a few shoppers uh, head on out here to the fairgrounds and start start picking up those treasures and items for, for inside and outside decoration, decor, repurposing. So please stay tuned to see all the vendors. We have four different camera angles to share with you. Uh, we switch camera angles about every five minutes, so you can just keep the live stream running and you'll be able to see all the different vendors. Or better yet, jump in your car, or truck or van, head on out to the fairgrounds. We are located between Beaver Dam and Horicon on State Highway 33. Both uh, entrances are open. You can enter from Fabish Road or High Point Road. If you need directions, we have uh, directions available on our website, or you can you can use like uh, Facebook has a great get directions using the Facebook app on your smartphone. Just go to our fan page, Dodge County Fairgrounds, and press Get Directions. That will help you out. Again, you're watching the Dodge County Flea Market and Craft Fair, and it is open until 2 o'clock today at the Dodge County Fairgrounds near Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. If you are unable to make it today, you can check out our list of upcoming events on our website, or give us a give us some support with a share on social media, a like or a heart, and uh, share with anyone who you know loves vintage decor, repurposing, and collectibles.
Okay, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just switching our views here, and uh, hopefully you can keep watching uh, as we show the different uh, different areas of the flea market going on today until two o'clock. switch over to the midway area and uh, you can see there's quite a few vendors and shoppers uh, at the fairgrounds here today until two o'clock free admission free parking before you leave the live stream make sure you leave us a note in the chat or the live in the comments uh, on the replay. Let us know which part was your favorite, what you'd like to see in future videos or future events. We really value your feedback and uh, we want to hear from our fans. So uh, make sure that uh, you take the time and leave us a, a note in the comments. I know there's a lot of events going on today. Uh, in and around Dodge County, but uh, it just takes about an hour to uh, stop out here at the fairgrounds, look at all the vendors. You uh, don't want to miss that uh, that item from your past, maybe that uh, that you lost and you would love to have have again. So you find it out there, and you can buy it affordable. That's a, a great memory to have. Uh, collectors, they got uh, vintage decor, lawn art. There's direct sales people selling today, like uh, Tupperware. You you got the the advantage of seeing the item in person and touching and trying it before actually uh, purchasing. A lot better than. Than buying out of a catalog, and you're not sure exactly how the item will uh, will look and feel. So check that out. Also, did you know that you can connect with the fairgrounds through your favorite social media page? There's links in the description below to connect with us, get updates and more information about our events make plans to attend in person, check our upcoming events calendar on our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. If you're just joining here or watching on the replay, today is the flea market and craft fair till 2 p.m. A variety of vendors are selling today, plus there's a concession stand at the co-op building. So if you're coming out during uh, or near lunchtime, don't worry, you can grab a bite to eat while you shop at the flea market. Again, shoppers are welcome with free admission and free parking throughout the grounds. So if you just want to browse and don't buy anything, it is absolutely free of charge. The flea market is also a great place to see uh, friends and family that uh, you haven't seen in a while. Uh, you'll probably bump into a few people that you know. So again, it's a great, great social event as well. You can talk to the vendors, ask them uh, information about 
about items that they are selling. You could probably even learn a thing or two about those items. So you can, you know, like get educated while shopping at the flea market. So lots of lots of pluses. Again, the part of the flea market is indoors today. It gets them out of the sun and wind. And it's also, there is also lots of room for vendors completely indoors. If it is a rainy day, there is lots of room for the vendors to set up inside. So if it, if it is a little bit rainy, just still come on out and shop the flea market. The day is not ruined. There's uh, lots of indoor space. So even though you can't do yard work, you can still shop the flea market. Check us out, rain or shine. Again, it's free admission, free parking today until two o'clock here at the fairgrounds. All right, for those of you just joining us, thank you and welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we are featuring the flea market and craft fair today until two o'clock. The live, live stream broadcast is going to go until just about 11.45. Uh, we'll be ending the, the live stream just before 12 noon. If you live in or near Dodge County, Wisconsin, you can get directions from our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com or press get directions using your smartphone and going to the fairgrounds Facebook fan page app. If you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon if you're watching on YouTube. Other platforms use follow, enable notifications, uh, different types to, uh, to get notified when the fairgrounds is going live. Okay, we're just uh, switching cameras here. Uh, so if you continue watching, you will be able to see there we have four different angles to, to show. And uh, you can see that there are lots of vendors. There's a huge variety of items. Shoppers are out there checking everything out. Lots of people throughout the grounds today. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Dale Nornberg. I'm a website and social media admin at the fairgrounds. If you have questions at any time during our live broadcast, you can post them in the chat. Or if you're watching on the replay, feel, please feel free to post your questions in the comments. And I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. But to, to help out, we, we are looking for for a couple people to help moderate those comments, uh, answer them and weed out the, the, the junk, I guess. 
So if you would like to volunteer as a moderator, please contact us direct by phone or email. All of our nonprofit fair association, we are operated through volunteers. So if maybe that's not your uh, cup of tea, we would still appreciate your help in any any way that you can. So please contact us if if you would like to help out. Please check the links in the description below if you haven't already. Follow us on social media and we really appreciate your sponsorship so we can continue offering this live event video and replays of our events. There's uh, a link down there and if uh, we have it set up correctly, as soon as we receive one of those sponsorships, we should see a uh, notification right here on the live broadcast. So again, uh, we would really appreciate those donations. Also, if uh, you would like to subscribe to us on YouTube, you can do the same. Uh, head over to our YouTube channel, just search for Dodge County Fair and give us a subscribe just by pressing the red button to subscribe and we should see a notification of that as well on, on the, the live stream here. So try that out. Lots of collectors and direct sales. And there's uh, at the youth building area. There's a, a large vendor selling uh, Western wear. There's two tents. It's on the other side of their trailer, unfortunately, so we can't see their display. But uh, all the more reason to shop in person. Come on out here to the fairgrounds market is going until 2 o'clock today.
All right, thanks for watching. Again, we will be switching cameras about every five minutes. So uh, this, this is the camera from the grandstand. It only has one view. If you uh, can keep watching, we uh, will be able to show you several different views or better yet, attend in person and you will be able to, uh, to see every vendor and get a chance at buying some of these rare and collectible items today at the Dodge County Flea Market here at the fairgrounds until 2 p.m. Some vendors pack up early if they have sold out of most of their, their good items. Usually the busiest time uh, of the flea market is between 10 and noon. So you are seeing quite a few shoppers uh, at the fairgrounds right now. They are checking out those items and getting some, some items from the flea market for their, their home and their yard and their garden. Hopefully this, uh, this is helpful to give you guys a taste of uh, what you're going to see before you drive out here to the fairgrounds. We appreciate their, your likes, your hearts, and shares to uh, friends and family. You could uh, you know, tag some friends in the comments and say, hey, let's uh, meet at the fairgrounds. Let's do some shopping. And uh, maybe they don't know about it. so. Feel free to uh, to help us spread spread the word of mouth. We are a nonprofit association, so it's hard for us to spend big advertising dollars. And we appreciate your help. It just helps to improve the fairgrounds for all kinds of different events, including youth, educational, and uh, other other events. So I guess you want to see all of our events. Go to our website, dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. You can see that list there, or you can sign up for email notifications. You can get right delivered to your email box. Event reminders each week. We send out an email every Thursday of upcoming events. So make sure that you subscribe to that email. Right again, keep watching. We're switching now to the camera inside the Farm Progress Arena. Uh, it's, we have lots of indoor space for vendors. So if, uh, if there is any rain, the flea market must go on. The, still come on out and shop if it's a rainy day. Vendors will be set up inside. These vendors like the indoor space even on nice days because it gets them out of the sun and wind. So uh, come check it out. You can see that this vendor, he's got a lot of collectible items. So maybe you'll find something to uh, treasure or even resell for more money. So check that out.
All right, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the flea market and craft fair. Today until two o'clock, you can check our website for future dates throughout the summer. There's one scheduled each month till September. We'll do our best to get up close footage of the many vendors today, but you'll have to shop in person to take advantage of the deals and find treasures for your home and yard. If you live in or near Dodge County, Wisconsin, you can get directions from our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com or press get directions using your smartphone and the Facebook, uh, going to our Facebook fan page app. If you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting, you can hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon if you're watching on YouTube. Other platforms use the follow and enable notification process. Get notified when we're broadcasting live to see what's going on at the fairgrounds. So, like Facebook uses, uh, if you even if you already like our fan page, you can uh, pull that down and say enable live notification so get notified. Uh, we also broadcast the Periscope and Twitter. Now there's a problem with that today. We, uh, we're only able to broadcast there for the first hour and something happened. So normally we're there live there as well at the same time. Checking the comments here. I don't see any new comments on uh, Facebook Live. We're also broadcasting on YouTube. I'm just going to take a break here. Be right back.
All right. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you can uh, continue watching us here on the live stream. We occasionally will switch the views. This view here is down from the grandstand. Again, the flea market goes until 2 o'clock today. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We are located between Beaver Dam and Horicon along State Highway 33 near Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the Flea Market and Craft Fair. You see there's lots of vendors and shoppers. And uh, watching our live video gives you kind of a taste of what you will find, but uh, we would love for you to come on out here, shop in person, check out all the, the items, and maybe uh, take a few things home with you to, uh, to add to your treasures, or maybe your decor, or there's some lawn, lawn decorations, maybe something to resell or repurpose. We have indoor space available. It's held rain or shine. We really appreciate your likes, your shares. Give us some comments, how we can improve, or what kind of events you like to attend. Thanks for watching. My name is Dale Nornberg. I'm the website and social media administrator at the fairgrounds. If you have any questions at any time during our live broadcast, you can post them in the chat. If you're watching on the replay, please feel free to post your questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. But uh, we are looking for some comment moderators, some volunteers to help sort through all the questions and get those answered in a timely manner. So if anyone is interested in that, we would appreciate your help. I'm getting quite a few viewers now and some shares. Thank you for that. You're watching live event video from the second flea market and craft fair of the summer. There's three more after this. You can see the full list of events at our website, dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Or better yet, you can sign up for email reminders. When there is an upcoming event, you get a weekly email, and that email has upcoming events for the next two weeks. And you can mark your calendar, you can enable notifications and get notified when we go live like we are right now. Again, the flea market is free admission, free parking, and it is open until 2 o'clock today. We're nearing lunchtime, but there is a concession stand at the co-op building, so you can eat and shop and get two things done at once today at the flea market. We hope you can attend in person to shop and find unique collector items. If you can't make it, keep watching. Give us, give us and your vendors your support with a thumbs up and share on social media with someone who you know loves vintage decor, repurposing and collectibles. We plan to do this live event video throughout the summer, 
so I would, you know, even if uh, flea market isn't your thing, looking here through our our upcoming calendar of events, our next live event video, we will be doing uh, footage on July 7th from the IRA Outlaw Sprints that uh, has MSA 360 Sprint Cars and Dirt King's Late Model Series. So watch for that. That'll probably be a lot of viewers for, for that one. That's a popular event. And then there's another flea market again on July 15th. And finally, uh, the last event in July, a three-day show, the Badger State Truck Show, will be at the fairgrounds July 28th, 29th, and 30th. So that will be, I believe, I will be uh, lots of viewers for that footage as well. So mark those dates, check our website, dodgecountyfairgrounds.com, and enable and subscribe and like and follow us so that uh, you don't miss our live events. And again, the best way to give us your support is to attend those events in person with your ticket sales and concessions. That's, that's how Fairgrounds can keep running. That gives us your support, so thank you very much. So again, just a little background information for you. You're watching live footage from the Dodge County Fairgrounds, where an event venue located near Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, uh, on State Highway 33. There's a variety of events that rent the grounds throughout the summer. If you're looking for something to do, we have events most every weekend. Head over to our website to see a list of upcoming events at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Did you know you can rent the fairgrounds for your next event? Large or small, we have indoor and outdoor options. Contact us today, reserve some dates, work out the details. You can uh, give us a call, uh, phone number's on our website, of course, or send us an email. Link is right there at the Contact Us page. So we would love to, uh, to add more events. We have a few weekends open this summer. Otherwise, start working on next summer and uh, get your dates reserved. If you enjoy the bird's eye view of events in action, subscribe to our channel, activate notifications, and uh, you can watch us on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. Uh, we live stream to five different platforms simultaneously thanks to some uh, online services so so think of that if you're looking for a place to have your event this uh, this live streaming and other promotional activities are, are done as part of your event rental so you can imagine that you could reach thousands of extra people uh, just by having your event at the fairgrounds instead of another venue you can see there's quite a few shoppers and uh, they're out there checking out all the all the items looks like some handmade stuff uh, unique there's uh, some woodworking there's some benches tables, planters. There's a guy, he's even trying out the bench. So, uh, a lot better than shopping online. You can try it out, touch, feel it, and uh, take it home with you. Uh, there's this lady here, she's selling Tupperware. She's the Tupperware distributor in the area, and well, that guy found something he liked. You can see that uh, you're able to check it out right away.
this vendor here, the Dusty Rose Quality Western Wear. You can see the tents are on the other side of the trailer, but uh, they do have lots of great items today. Uh, the next guy here, he's got handmade uh, bird houses and bird feeders. They're uh, real cute. They're, like the one on the end looks like a moose, and they have he has ones that look like owls. Okay, let's uh, we're gonna switch to a different camera now. This uh, camera uh, looks down from the grandstand area. You can see he's got lots of interesting items that would be good for repurposing or maybe for garden art. You could paint it, decorate it into uh, something. Some people uh, like this for uh, like vintage decor. Okay, we'll switch over to the Midway camera. Uh, we just have about a half an hour left in our live stream. The flea market goes until two o'clock today. So still lots of time to head on out to the fairgrounds. Don't worry if you are hungry for lunch. There is a concession stand at the co-op building so you can eat and shop at the same time. Also, did you know you can connect with the fairgrounds through your favorite social media page? There's links in the description below to connect with us and get updates and more information about our events. Or better yet, make plans to attend in person. Check our upcoming events calendar on our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Also, before you leave, if you're watching us on the live broadcast uh, or as a replay, before you leave, leave us a note in the chat or in the comments. Uh, what you know, what part of yours is your favorite? Uh, you know, give us uh, some feedback. We hope to continue doing this all summer, including at the Dodge County Fair, which runs August 16 through the 20th. So. As long as we have enough enough people to uh, press the buttons per se, we uh, hope to live stream quite a bit during the fair. So again, we operate off of all volunteers. If you have knowledge, a good technical knowledge, we would really appreciate your help. Uh, if you can help us uh, man the controls because uh, everyone is very busy during the Dodge County Fair. Again, that's August 16th through the 20th. If you're interested in volunteering, contact us by email, chat, or comments, or through uh, private message. We would appreciate your help. The live feed is scheduled till 12 noon today, or a little bit before that. We want to stay below the four hour um, threshold so that uh, Facebook uh, saves our video. If we're over that, it will not save. So about 11.45, we will end the broadcast. So down in the comments or the chat area, what would you like to see in future live events? What, uh, what are you looking for? You're looking for something to do with the family, something to do with the kids, uh, 
just entertainment, nightlife? What kind of events are you looking for? So uh, maybe we can find a promoter to uh, to bring some events, some more events to the fairgrounds. But we need your help so that we know uh, what kind of events you're looking for. Okay, we just switched over to the arena camera again. Um, we have lots of indoor buildings available at the fairgrounds, so the flea market must go on. Uh, rain or shine, there's a small chance of rain today, but if uh, in future dates, if there's rain, don't fear and no fear, excuse me, that uh, the flea market will go on as scheduled. So. You can see these vendors, they like to be indoors so that they're out of the sun and the wind and All right, if, if you enjoy our live event video and want an alert when an event is starting or when we go live, make sure that you uh, enable notifications or on YouTube, you can subscribe and press the bell notification icon so that you get notified when we go live. Uh, other platforms use like follow and enable notifications. So check that out. We uh, would love your support. The more subscribers and likes we have, it just helps us spread the word, word of mouth, and uh, gets our message out there. So we appreciate your help there since we are a nonprofit association that is uh, operating the fairground. So thank you for your help. All right, good, thank you for joining us. Welcome to another live event video from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And today we have video from the second flea market and craft fair of the season. We have three more events after today, uh, one a month. You can see the list of upcoming events on our website at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Just gonna switch the views, switch the video over to the park area. There you can see the Dusty Rose Quality Western Wear. Now they are set up on the opposite side of that that big trailer, so we can't see their booth. But you can see that they have two tents. Uh, this gentleman here is selling uh, bird feeders and bird houses that are cute. They look like uh, one looks like a moose and one looks like an owl. Those are uh, pretty neat. In this area, you can, uh, this is up by the concession stand area, the, the co-op building. 
And uh, you can see there's lots of vendors up there. There must be some popular, popular booths to check out. Then you can see uh, this guy is selling some woodworking items, some benches and planters, tables, some nice woodworking items. Then we got some wishing wells, I guess they would call them, and those are popular for out in the yard for decoration. And uh, I was incorrect before, I said Tupperware, well it's a Pampered Chef is the other direct sales vendor. Uh, in this view right here, just below there is uh, Pampered Chef. So,
Okay, thanks for watching. Again, there's still plenty of time to head on out here to the fairgrounds to shop the flea market and craft fair today. You can see that the vendors still have a pretty good selection of items available. There is a concession stand, so if you're thinking about lunch, you can eat at the concession stand and shop, so no fear there. Again, the flea market and craft fair is free admission, free parking, all day here till 2 p.m. This is usually uh, part of the busiest time between 10 and noon is usually when we see the most shoppers. But the, the market is open until 2 p.m. So again, we're located between Beaver Dam and Horicon on State Highway 33 in Wisconsin. I know there's a lot going on in the area today, but it should only take about an hour to go through, uh, there's vendors inside in the arena, there's vendors outside in the park area, and in the midway area, so lots of vendors to, to look at. They all have different, very different items, so depending on what your interest is, I'm sure you'll find something that, that catches your eye. Again, uh, we are a nonprofit association that operates the fairgrounds, so we appreciate your likes and your comments and your shares because that helps helps us get more exposure on social media. We can't necessarily afford high-priced advertising, so thanks to social media, we're able to reach a lot of people at a lower rate than traditional advertising so your help there is appreciated well, let's switch over to the, the park area camera and you can see here that uh, there's a quality Western wear trailer and uh, their booth is set up on the other side of the trailer. Then we got uh, some bird feeders and bird houses, custom made. They're, they're pretty uh, cute and unique. So uh, not just your average run of the mill, uh, something special. So just a little background info for you, you're watching live event video and footage from the Dodge County Fairgrounds. We're located just a few miles east of Beaverdam, Wisconsin on State Highway 33. We uh, live stream simultaneously to several social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter. So, uh, you can check us out. There's a variety of events that rent the grounds throughout the summer. If you're looking for something to do, we have events most every weekend. Head over to our website and see a list of upcoming events at dodgecountyfairgrounds.com. Also, you can sign up for event notifications by email and email reminders. So all you have to do is go to our website and at the bottom of the page in the middle, there's a large button to sign up for those 
those emails. Uh, it comes out every Thursday at noon, and it's a good reminder of what's coming up the this weekend and up to two weeks in advance. So we hope you're enjoying today's live video and gives you a look at uh, what's going on at the fairgrounds. Still time to jump in your car and uh, check out the flea market and craft fair. It's open till 2 o'clock today. We will be ending the broadcast here in about 15 minutes.
All right, we want to thank you for watching our live broadcast. Again, the flea market goes until 2 o'clock today, but uh, we will be wrapping up the live stream here in just a few minutes. We hope it's been helpful to uh, see what's going on. We look forward to your comments, even on the replay. If you can leave us a note, uh, what kind of events you're looking for, if uh, you're looking for some information on our events, please uh, ask your questions in the comments. We'll get those answered as soon as we can. Our next live broadcast is scheduled for July 7th, the IRA Sprint Car Races. That uh, live stream will probably start about 4 or 5 Central Standard Time, depending on their schedule of events. So uh, again, you can subscribe and enable notifications so that you don't miss our live streams. So I guess uh, until next time, again, thank you for watching. I hope you had a chance to shop at the flea market today. And uh, check our website, dodgecountyfairgrounds.com, for a list of upcoming events. We hope to see you at those very soon. Thank you very much.